Hey everyone, welcome back to OMG Overtly Mocking Games. This is Michael T. Bradley. And Jay Wilford Neville. And let's uh let's just jump right into it. I mean, what the hell? This is um this is so goddamn crazy ridiculous. But we are <laughs> we are determined to find out what's gonna happen next in the life of Gabriel Knight, Schottenjaeger. Yeah, sins of the fathers and the uncles Wolfgang. And possibly a brother. Oh yeah. Sons. I have a feeling we're never going to go back to the little happy dog face, and that makes me very sad. Yeah, I don't think we're going to go visit Grandma anymore, either. Nah. I assume she's dead. We might go visit her to find out about her unknown son, or brother. Hmm, that's a good point. Hey, Jason, how's it going? <laughs> Just, uh, nonchalantly walking past Rhett over here. Shouldn't he be whistling? I, yeah, I don't know how else one signals nonchalance. Well, Hands in just, pockets cause it, is probably I was just thinking he's... Because he's in a graveyard. The plate is up. Oh. Do you whistle in a graveyard? You whistle past the graveyard? Never mind. <laughs> 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 Apparently this is a thing I don't know about. Hey, yeah, ring, the, a... ring the doorbell. Maybe the dead person <laughs> will answer. Yeah. Ding dong. You will hear the sound. <laughs> Did one thing connect to the other? Oh, um, oh god, everything broke now. Damn, you'd think there'd be a light. Come towards the light, Gabriel. Oh, maybe flashlight. I'll need a flashlight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, I accidentally brought my flashlight. <laughs> well, when in Rome. <laughs> Gabriel can't take. Whoop. Parazang's like, shut the hell up. I don't want to hear <laughs> that bullshit. He's sick of Nana Narrator, too. Draws line the back wall. Gabriel can't make out the name on that draws. What was the glass breaking? Mm. Uh. This broken glass on okay, the Okay, I guess. that glass breaking on yeah. the floor, Michael. All right. <laughs> are, are we going to inspect the little red dot over to the right? Is that... No? Okay. No no reason we should look at that. Only Maybe that's the, the button to get out. <laughs> that draw is marked with a pattern like the veve. Even though you might think it looks like everything else on the screen. Mosley. Mosley sleeping. Shit. I dropped my flashlight. <laughs> huh? <laughs> was that Mosley took a nap? I huh? guess I better too. What the hell was that? There's some pretty long-lasting batteries in his flashlight. If we're supposed to assume he's been unconscious for a while. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be Mosley's. Mosley's body is gone. Mosley's uh, uh wallet. There's a wallet in the drawer. It must have fallen from Mosley. Oh, think of all the pranks you can play with his credit cards, Gabriel. <laughs> it's a man's wallet. Thanks, Nana. <laughs> that was really fucking helpful. Gabriel opens the wallet and finds... Some ID belonging to Mosley and an American's repressed card. Uh, That's supposed that'd to be, be a clever, yeah. subtle social commentary. <laughs> we are going to use his credit card. Wow. We're just. We just keep sinking as low as we can. <laughs> now the sound of glass breaking. Come on. Is that angel over there just talking to a brick wall? Yeah. It's like pleading with it. Why won't you listen to me, wall? Do, 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 do. It reminds me of my marriage. But a bum In the distance, a sad trombone can be heard along with a low, lonely wolf howl. Are we not going to read the, like code thing on the wall there or is it still the one we wrote 
I, I guess it's still the one we wrote. Where have you been? I was worried about. I said I was going out for a bit, Grace. Jesus. <laughs> for the good reason, apparently. What happened? Do, do you need a doctor? Nothing you want to know. What does that mean? And no. She oh, wants to play doctor. Aspirin. Nah. Gabriel, this is nuts. You have to get no, out of No, Grace. These are nuts. Well, listen. <laughs> <laughs> See, I could totally write Gabriel Knight. <laughs> Haven't done a duty all week. Uncle Wolfie, no. What are you gonna do? You, Grace. <laughs> Is this what we're reduced to? <laughs> I like the little piping on his uh, sheet. I think that's <laughs> nice. It's the little touches. I'm glad that we haven't gotten rid of that. <laughs> I like how I like how we're just limited, like to calling <laughs> places that are on one page of the Hello. phone book. <laughs> See the World Travel Agency. How may I help you? How much for a trip to Rittersburg, Germany? Rittersburg, Germany? Hold on, let me look that Also, up. do you know anything about snakes? <laughs> Munich. That's the closest airport to Rittersburg. You can rent a car from there, or take the train. Or, Let's I don't see. know, put a gun in your mouth. The I don't really care. I can see for the flight is $1,400. Oh, God, we're going to use Mosley's like American Repressed card. We are. Charge it to my Americans Repressed. Yes, sir. And your name was Mosley. Feeling a little guilty. Now, of course, you're Gabriel gonna have to give that name at the airport. <laughs> no, no, this is 1993. You can just walk into an airport and get on an airplane. Yeah, true enough. The wait time is six and a half minutes. Guess what? I'm going to Germany. Really? That's great, but how on earth could you afford? A man's gotta do what a man gotta do. Oh this... my god. I wouldn't like the sound of that even if you were a man. Is the implication that he just turned to prostitution? I... I don't know. <laughs> Nothing about their interaction Bye, makes Gracie. sense to me. Good luck. Let me know what's going on, will you? Of course. Anyway, uh, everyone around me that I care about is either a leopard or dead, so hope, you, hope you're hope you okay. <laughs> Especially since everyone at the Conclave saw you carrying me out. <laughs> Over your shoulder, and then stopping to pick up my black trench coat and, and my motor motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he, uh, he took the, the red line there instead of the airplane. That's smart. Mm -hmm. Hello, my name is Knight. I am Frau Gabriel. Blucher. No, Knight. young Frankenstein. Oh. No. Yeah, no, I don't like it. <laughs> I mean, come in, please, Herr Knight. I was not expecting you. Has Wolfgang sent you here? Uncle Wolfgang? No, I came to see him. Isn't he here? No, he is gone. I'm sorry. You came. He went to a place called oh, New great. Orleans. That's all I know. Let me show you how Herr far Knight, I can come. Wolfgang told me all about you and gave so me three, three and a half for you feet. to feel here. Please, this is your home. Um. You are a writer, no? I am just going to work. I will continue and you may make yourself comfortable. I got there some work you can do. Please <laughs> ask me. You may use Wolfgang's bedroom. It is at the top of the stairs. Would you like to come you, fluff yes, my sir. pillows? You may call me Gerda, Herr Knight. Not my name, but that's what you can call me, you <laughs> son of a bitch. She's just, like, practicing her playing card throwing. <laughs> Damn it, I can't make any of them into this basket! I'll never be a dealer. <laughs> oh, the bed's on fire. Um, it's a German thing. <laughs> Four times over. 
not exactly cozy, but Gabriel could get used to it. Just a random side trip to Germany here. Yeah. Peter Wolfgang left very recently. Oh, good. He feels quite at home in this room, per se. It's the biggest bed Gabriel has it's, ever seen. Is the scale just off? or Because I'm like, it just looks like a normal bed, and the room doesn't look that much bigger than Gabriel's bedroom. There's no. a small pair of grooming scissors on the cabinet. I might need a pair of grooming scissors. I could go threaten Gerda into sexual favors with this. It'll be funny to tell Moslip oh. Oh. Or I might come across a mangy looking schnauzer and then I can give it a haircut in order to get its elderly owner to something sexual. Make sure to right click it. If you left click it, you just beat it to death. <laughs> Gothic. Gothic. I think that not a narrator should have switched to a German accent when we went to Germany. Near the, the bed is at a labyrinth wooden door. The head of a lion stares at Gabriel from above the door. Oh, we're gonna go explore the castle. And Why now not? it just turns into a game of doom. <laughs> It's or Wolfenstein 3D. So I see that Gabriel and Wolfgang both prefer purple sheets. Mm. Is that a thing? I guess so. The great hall of Schloss with the towers around Gabriel. Why was she like a ghost? <laughs> he can have my job. He take bear. On the wall. Gabriel isn't sure if they mean something or if they're just good insulation. There's a mask thing back there behind Gerda. Now yeah. we should click on that or that spear. It kind of looks oh, like Cassandra what from Who. Wandering around the castle. Every day I go to Riddersburg to do the daily shopping and uh, visit my friends. Haha, <laughs> uh, gentlemen friends. <laughs> that is where I got all of these dollar dollar yeah, bills I am swimming on the floor. Yeah, of course. <laughs> snakes, tell me about snakes. <laughs> tell me something about yourself. I was born in Riddersburg, the village below the castle. Tell me something about yourself. I'm not well traveled, but Wolfgang has been kind and has tutored me in many subjects. It was from him I learned to speak English. He must have sensed you were coming here at night and that you would have need of me. Oh, I have great need of you, Gerda. Click it again, click it again. Tell me something about yourself. I have three super normal wearing nipples. Say on my Wolfgang. back. Tell me about Wolfgang. What would you like to know? How many supernumerary nipples does he have? I don't know, but I have a feeling he has gone off to go be Schattenjäger again. He is too old for such chasing around. His heart is very weak. He has not left Oh god, his he's gonna be dead now. Maybe yep. this is actually Wolfgang in, you know in you'll be disguise. I am afraid he will be back. Before he left, he said Schloss Rida now belongs to Gabe. Yep, he was going it off to die. so to hear him say that. I'm afraid Wolfgang knew he would never return. What is Wolfgang like? Wolfgang is a truly wise and good man. The best I have ever known. What the hell kind of instrument is playing here? It's got to have some goofy what name kind of like Wolfenstiefer or whatever. His only son died in infancy, so there was no one to carry on the family line. Glockenspiel. And the family's financial troubles have been mm. hard on him. Wolfgang wanted to do so much for the world, but it was all he could do just to hold on to Schlossel. Get on with it, Gerda. He has not left his mark as he wished to. What is your relationship with Wolfgang? Tee hee hee hee. My relationship with your uncle is really none of your business. They're totally right, doing it. Oh yeah. Forget I asked. Well, what the hell? How did Gabriel become all that? Uh, I apologize. How do you know about his library? When we talked on the phone, he said he was going to do some research in his library. I thought maybe if I saw what he was researching. Uh, 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 
Would you like to see the normal library or the porn library? I have never been in. Only a Schattenjäger can enter the library. I see. Just tell me anything. <laughs> Just tell me anything. <laughs> anything. Wolfgang has dedicated his entire life to the role of Schattenjäger. Oh, nothing. Never mind. As You're you boring like, me. Let me tell you how I like it, Gerda. Tell me something about the Witter family. I can tell you what they say in the village. What I heard when I was small. To the villagers, the Ritters are a little... How do you say... Tragic. To be pitied. It is very they difficult for the them living in their like giant castle on top of the hill over the village them. that they own. One of them was <laughs> cursed, and so the Ritters lost the way. They struggle still, but <laughs> like a lame dog, you see? Without the power or magic they once had. I mean, I had to eat my own brother for firewood, but, you know, they have it rough too. I don't really understand how fires fuck. But at the end of the 17th century, that all changed. Since then, Dredesburg has been in decline. Snakes, 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 snakes. Tell me something about the Ritter family. <laughs> it is a troubled family here, right? That much, I know. Tell me something about Schloss Ritter. Schloss Ritter has stood It's really interesting to no hear him try to do, like, German words with a fake Cajun Wolfgang accent. Wolfgang received offers to open the castle for tourists. He has resisted, though, even though the castle is in desperate Oh need my of god. It's just... Him, this the game just grinds to a halt whenever we talk to anyone. It does. Tell me something about Schloss Ritter. The castle has many I think I would be okay with it if it wasn't for this goddamn music. Most have been yeah, off definitely. It would, pr if like this Only weren't a playthrough and you were actually playing the game and you could just click through as Didn't soon as you had finished reading the right. words, it might be okay. Yeah. Is a library, but I've never there are places been. in the castle where only the master is allowed to go. Done. Done, 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 done. And go. we covered this already. We really <laughs> did. Tell me something about Schloss Ritter. Oh, there's a secret passage. <laughs> doo, 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 doo. <laughs> How many times do you have to ask her before we get the little. Doo, 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 doo. Wait, that's the the more you know. Tell thing. me what you know about <laughs> As Wolfgang may have told you, Schattenjäger means shadow hunter. The Ritter family have always been Schattenjägers. It is a kind of Do you think this lady is voiced by someone famous? I don't think so. I wonder I what why did they write about? blush in there rather than say titter, which is how she chose to do it? And I think it was a wise I choice as an actor. <laughs> Tell me what you know about Shepard. This music implies, I think, like kind of a, a drunken guy coming home from a pub crawl. When the time is right. Yeah, or a handful of them. Kind of stumbling around. Gerda, uh, you're ungodly boring. <laughs> Ooh, she stared at us suspiciously as we walked into Perhaps it's the shrine. By the lights from the window. I guess we've got a we've got a chapel in here. Whatever, you know. A plain wooden altar occupies the center of the chapel. A cushion kneeler at the bottom. Is that really a word, kneeler? Kneeler. I hope that's what it's called. A magnificent stained glass window. Do we still have that brick? <laughs> Three panels hang from each side of the chapel. Gabriel cannot determine what their purpose Well, let's see. On the left, we've got the singing goblet, uh, the bad haircut, and the broken tree receives water. <laughs> I thought it was the rain catcher. Hmm. Oh, for oh, the god love of God! Yeah, now we gotta ask course. about the chapel. What can you tell me about those wall panels in the chapel? The hangings—they describe the Schottenjäger initiation ceremony. Oh, 
We gotta cut our hair. Tell me about the Shatnyega initiation Do we? ceremony. Well, that, I, that's my guess. We have to cut her hair? No, our hair. Oh. <laughs> but what does the ceremony do? Do we get like a mohawk? I'm gonna assume Gabriel turns into like a skinhead. Oh, well, when in Rome. <laughs> I, I find the intent yucky. I'm okay now. Is there anything else you can tell me about that initiation ceremony? Anything at all. I really do not know any more about it, can I? Now we go back to the bedroom so that we can read a book. I hope we get to sleep, then we get the dream. I wonder if um, the library here has a German-English dictionary that we can read one word at a time. I hope. Or even better, maybe like an English to German dictionary. I'll just jump right the hell out. <laughs> just screw all this. What? That's okay. Now we gotta cut our hair. Oh, no, he's gonna circumcise himself. Thinking of the second chapel panel, Gabriel cuts his hair. I hate this. There, that went. Uh, so we're just randomly performing the initiation on ourselves? I guess so. It contains a scroll. Oh no, wait, that's a fruit roll up. This scroll is interesting. Yeah, okay, fair enough. I'm trying <laughs> to remember what the third panel was. St. George, patron of the light, who hunts the shadows of the night. In fact, we're running from the shadows of the night. For I vow to set my feet upon thy road, thy soul I take up for mine own. Okay. Cool story, bro. <laughs> So we got two of the six done. I don't at all remember what the others were. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention because Gerda was so a fucking boring. <laughs> Maybe we have to like fight Gerda with a bat left now. <laughs> oh, I thought we would go find Worf and fight him with the bat left. Mm. We go back to New Orleans. <laughs> This dagger. Is this a dagger I see before me? <laughs> Classing it up with the Macbeth. Nice. <laughs> it's a shake of Really? Really? You're supposed to see that? My god. <laughs> yep. So I guess that's what she pours into her wounds to be able to keep uh, flipping those cards all day. Why did he just ask her if that was a shaker of salt? Thanks. Not a narrator just told her that. Um. My god, Perzing cannot find that foot to save his life. <laughs> save their life. I guess I don't I don't know what what gender Perzing is. Okay, so now we gotta float a, a cup on some water. Thinking of the third panel, Ugh. Gabriel puts the chamber pot on uh, the other. Uh-oh, I don't like where this is going. Yeah, don't <laughs> do not do it, Gabriel. <laughs> he hasn't pooped in a week. <laughs> Thinking of the third panel, Gabriel pours the contents oh, of the salt shaker into the chamber pot. Oh, okay. Okay, so that looks enough like the fourth panel, but we still haven't figured out that third 
panel. Oops, nearly hit an artery. <laughs> I could have died. <laughs> so the third panel was put a chamber pot on something and put some of the salt in it? Panel, I guess so. Gabriel kneels at the altar. Uh, now we have to read the scroll here, I guess. This is so goddamn convoluted, and I would not have thought to actually try to do the panels if I were playing this game. Thinking of the sixth panel, Gabriel reads the scroll. We're Thank running you. with the shadows, the, of the shadows of the night. Upon my blood I call thee now. Purify me, for I vow to set my feet upon thy road. You know, it's really convenient that that scroll was written in English. It is. Whoa. What, what the hell? She's vacuuming. I guess so. Yeah. Excuse me. I was just vacuuming. I did not know you were in here. Oh, that's all right. I've done about all I can do in here anyway. I give up. I'm just going to slit my arteries. Why don't you go to bed? Sure. Why not? I will clean everything up. You need not worry. I can't believe I cut my hair for nothing. My hair. My hair. Now he's gonna wake up and be all pimped out. Wasn't it summertime before? Oh, we got you another know, dream. It never told us before that we were going into a dream. Yeah. Oh, I'm a, I'm a spooky monster. Oh. Your soul smells Gabriel Knight. That's right, bitches. I do. You must first burn away the past. How much sin do you have to uh, not, not really anything that I can think of. Um, I'm pretty sure I've been pretty pure. You have used people oh, this is where Gabriel life. grows up. Never committed to anything. Who are we talking to? Bing Fang Foom. No. There are only two things that redeem you. First, that you have little blood in you. Uh second, that you is, is, is this one Michael of them Dorn? Gerda? Or... <laughs> I guess so. Now we have to play like a mini game that's like Load Runner or something. Maybe. I, cannot show I have tiny useless limbs so I can't point. No problem. So like a leg? Yeah, oh, you now he's some gonna poop. Of this Purell. He's gonna wake up. He's gonna poop this whole week's worth of poop. <laughs> just that bedroom will be just ankle deep in it. Yeah. Did he just get the Triforce? Um, I whoa, that sideshow Bob key. Okay, <laughs> we're just. We'll have a dream key to the library, so that's cool. Too many metaphors there, game. Too many metaphors. <laughs> Going into, like, Pleasantville territory of metaphors. DOS 8. Ooh, Inside DOS a hidden DOS. chamber where I had no right to be. I found the wheel at last, or could it be the wheel found me? The wheel found me. <laughs> it never gets old. <laughs> That girdle ride me like a horse. Oh look, there's the dream key on the little drawer thing. I don't believe it. It's the key from my dream. Oh, who's he talking to? And now Freddy's to? back. <laughs> We're the dream warriors. I don't even know if that's how that song goes. <laughs> 
man, I wonder if all the Nightmare on Elm Street movies are on Netflix. We should go watch them. <laughs> oh, yeah, some weight training we could do there, then. No, oh, here's the library. I, yeah, okay, so you gotta be... I wonder if Gerda had slept in there if the, um... If Fing Fang Foom would have given her access. <laughs> Just by glancing at the spines, Gabriel can tell that... It would have been like, Well, normally you have to be a ridder, but, uh... Maybe a blowjob, and I can let you in. Or just, just let me, like, fill you up for, like, ten seconds. An ancient shield hangs on the wall. More colorful tapestry soften the stone walls here. So I think now that... Now that we know we he's German, do we have to call her Oma narrator? Uh, I don't know. This part of the library contains books on the occult, necromancy, witchcraft, demonology, lichen tropes. Well, this was certainly this worth stabbing a dream version of myself for, or whatever the hell happened there. These shelves display books on geography. Oh, let's skip that section. A title catches Gabriel's eye. People's Republic of Benin. Oh yeah, that sounds Lord really Cat. fucking fascinating there, not a narrator. Oh, he's gonna grab it and we're gonna read it Gabriel one word at a time. Chief export, peanuts, People's put it back. Republic of Benin <laughs> is an area of rich and diverse cultures and a proud heritage. I okay. Before slaving devastated many tribes, this area was populated by some of the hardest, oh my god, and most powerful <laughs> yeah. tribes in tribal Africa. The Those fawns, wacky fawns. The <laughs> and the terrible Agris. The book, The Primal One by John Roots, provides insight into And now we have to find that on the shelf. There are books on sociology in this part of the library. Oh god, we seriously are like... There's <laughs> uh, a bad semicolon there. We're just, we're gonna... This is Gabriel doing his thesis research. Yep. This section of the library has a complete collection of the Discworld novels. Gabriel sits down to read the first one. Rinswin did not like war. Because of the vast amount of bloodshed that occurred there over the centuries. In this one area I'm tempted to just, like, speed up the audio for this section. <laughs> Some of the most powerful it would probably be easier. I enjoy it on a narrator, but not Why for long portions of exposition. To understand, one must look <laughs> even further back. I think early See days is every Africa assassin ever. <laughs> Oh dear God. These shells contain history. One title catches Gabriel's eye. Ancient roots of Africa. The historian's name is early, early days. days. Yeah. Did the sociologist have a name like that? I wasn't paying attention. I, I told Oh, remember. Roots. Ancient His name was Roots. Roots of Africa, uh. and the ferocity oh of my the god. tribes in the red Luckily he finds the pages that pertain to directly to what he's looking for. <laughs> Gabriel flips to the table of contents. <laughs> Chapter 1, Introduction. <laughs> Chapter 2, Imports. Remnants of ruins far older and of a culture far more advanced. Than any that exists wow, I hope not a narrator made millions See, on this. Sun <laughs> by a curate. A curate? I guess they're going for accurate there. It's really not. These shelves contain books on religions of all times. A title catches Gabriel's eye. Sun worshippers by a curate. Parazang is like, do I really want to? Oh, <laughs> Gabriel takes down 
sun. If only Uncle Wolfgang had just written all of this down on a single sheet of paper and left it on the table right there. Yeah, no kidding. Of sun worship. The most powerful cults of sun worshippers lived on the continent of Africa. The African sun god Have you noticed anything in here that seems helpful? And so became his worshippers. No. They practice a particularly bloody form of ritual sacrifice. Do you think this is the like real history or did they just make this shit up? Since we have See shit like Seymour shards in here, I'm going to guess they made it up. Seymour shards. <laughs> Holy shit, we are still reading books. <laughs> Just five minutes ago, they contained books on religion. I can't hear Seymour in a plural without thinking of Seymour Butts. Right? Thanks, The Simpsons. The most fascinating oh, well, I was kind of thinking more of the porn Africa. series, but sure, The Simpsons, the yeah. Mound, the, <laughs> the Great Snake Mound. Located 50 miles south of the capital in yeah, the that was actually my nickname when like I was in college. Like the mounds of North America, the origin and meaning of these great mounds remains a mystery. Though clearly they were the results of profound and urgent spiritual beliefs. Clearly. Unlike Clearly. other snake mounds, the African example is a double snake mound. Um. A small snake ring within a larger snake ring. The mound is thought to uh. have housed in ancient temples. There is a great serpent mound, but it's in the U.S. apparently. Mm. Is there like a medium serpent mound and a lesser serpent mound? Probably. partially due to stringent government regulations and partially to local superstitions. Yep. The local people regard the mound with fear and will not go near it. A double snake ring? <laughs> Gabriel flips furiously looking for a picture. Oh my god. It's a wheel within a wheel. Dun dun dun. Like a Gabriel double ring. Hang on to the snake mound <laughs> Oh, good. We're finally leaving. Yeah. About time for us to leave, too. I'm hoping that he just leaves or goes to sleep and we'll have a good time to stop here. We have a big, long conversation with Gerda now. Yeah, if we... If Gerda's down here... All right, let's just go ahead and call it a day here. We'll, <laughs> we'll come back when, uh, when he's coming down the stairs. Holy... Jesus, that was difficult. <laughs> that that was a bad scene. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, I'm sorry, everyone, for letting you down. We really could have had more than see more butts jokes in there. But <laughs> all right, we'll see you next time. Just a couple more episodes to go. Pretty exciting. We're gonna find out what all this snake hoo ha is all about. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we'll see you a next wheel time. Within a wheel, double snake mound. It's my favorite sexual position. Wow, double snake mound. <laughs> All right, for now, this is Michael T. Bradley. And J. Wilford Neville. And we are.